A while loop in Java is very similar to that of Python. The main differences are that in Java, the condition goes inside parentheses, which is not a requirement in Python. And the body goes inside curly braces instead of just being indented, as is the case in Python. So let's go ahead and translate this Python while loop into Java. First, let's create the counter int i equals zero. Next, let's put in the while keyword followed by our terminating condition within parentheses. So let's make that i is less than five. And then we add the curly braces. So this is to define the body of the while loop. Inside this, let's add a print statement that prints the value of i. And then let's add a statement that will increment the value of i. i++ plus plus is short for i plus equals 1. This will work in Java, but not in Python. And now if we test this out, we should get 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there you have it. Now, just like in Python, Java also has the break keyword. Recall that calling break causes the program to jump out of the loop. Say I place an if statement just before the print statement. This if statement will say that if I is equal to 3, then break. So when i becomes 3, this will preemptively terminate the loop before 3 gets printed out. And that's because the print statement is written after the break statement. So we'll jump out of the loop at i equals 3 before we even get to print the value. And now when we test this, we will only get 0, 1, and 2. Java also has a continue keyword. Unlike a break, a continue statement only jumps out of the current iteration. So let's change this to continue. So in this case, once i becomes equal to 3, it will execute the continue statement and go back up the loop instead of executing the remaining statements. This now, however, will leave us stuck inside an infinite loop because this continue statement, the way it's placed in this example, will prevent the loop from reaching this statement that will increment the value of i. So once we get to i equals 3, it will get stuck at that value and therefore cause the infinite loop. So just to make sure that doesn't happen, let's also increment i just before the continue statement. So once i is equal to 3, we enter the if statement and immediately increment the value of i. And then immediately after that, we execute the continue statement. This brings us back up to the top of the loop. And at this point, i is now 4. So we skip the if statement. And then we execute the remaining statements. So now when we test this, we should get 0, 1, 2, and 4.